What's going on, everybody? It's the Indoor Hunter. Forgive the nasally sound. We've got a summer cold, unfortunately, but we're not here to talk about me. We are here to talk about the brand new scopes and I guess the updated e collar to the Hunter Call of the Wild coming next week. Fortunately for us, the wait isn't going to have to be too long. It'll be, it looks like, next Friday when they are going to release, which is pretty awesome. But uh, let's get down to it and talk about these new scopes. Actually, I lied. Before we go to the scopes, I would like to talk about the e-collar. When I'm bow hunting, that is such an important and vital tool. It actually extends the range. You, you guys have seen the videos on it. I, I don't need to hype it up anymore. It is interesting that they are partnering with a real-life counterpart, and uh, they've got some real-life mechanics that... Uh, something called Fox Bat with this company. I personally don't know this brand or, or name or anything like that because where I hunt, if you use an e-collar, you go to prison. So uh, I, I, I don't know anything about e-collars, but I do know in this game they're pretty awesome. So we're going to have the, the ability to call two separate animals or two different species at the same time, which is pretty nice because that's one less collar you got to bring with you. And uh, they're also going to have a new feature called Fox Bang, which is basically i guess it stops the call once you shoot uh i'm I, i'm sure for you know real life that that's useful in game i don't know it seems like a marketing gimmick but uh hey an improvement is an improvement all right well, let's talk about scopes now if you've been a part of the channel for a while now you guys will know i've been harping and hyping new scopes or namely reticles for years literally years basically the past four years i've begged pleaded all of it discord reddit been out there spreading the message so i feel like they finally listened to me not that it was it was my doing but it's about time we get freaking new scopes and some new reticles and i'm pretty excited about it that said uh from the sample that they showed during the live stream uh you know unfortunately for myself personally a lot of the reticles that they showed i wasn't the biggest fan of but you know until it's here i can't I, i'm not gonna judge one way or another um they did mention the fact that they didn't want to add some crazy zoom scope because it would be pointless because their render distance is 300 meters which i 100 percent agree with i was actually going to be a little offended if they were like this is a 40 times zoom scope it's like it's pointless because you can't see stuff that far so uh you know i see that mentioned a lot where people are like we need spotting scopes it's like no you don't not in this game, unfortunately. Um, maybe maybe Call of the Wild too. They'll, they'll have that crazy render distance like Wave the Hunter. One can hope. And here we have our first look at the new Angler 4 8 100 rifle scope. It is, of course, a night vision scope, which is pretty cool. It's got a 4 to 8 zoom, which is way better than the one currently found in the high-tech weapons pack. That said, I'm going to have to admit, when they showed the side-by-side -side comparison here... I personally wasn't too impressed because outside of slight color, there wasn't uh, or color difference. There wasn't much difference in quality wise. Uh, obviously, this new scope has a much better zoom. Uh, it could have been because he was in the daylight and it was kind of blown out. But, I, you know, this is one of those I don't want to cast too harsh of a judgment on until I get it in my hands and see what we're working with. Uh, I'm pretty excited, though, about that four to, to eight times magnification, because like I said, in those rare occurrences where I am hunting at night, the one-time zoom of the current night vision scope is a pretty big hindrance. And of course here now we can actually see the angler's uh, customization screen here where you can change different reticles. Uh, pretty neat. Looking forward to this I'm sure down the road. What I really like about this just in general is the fact that this is going to open the doors to a lot more uh, reticles and stuff like that. It looks like one of those looks like it's a little more... Uh, made for a crossbow perhaps so maybe that's one of the big holdbacks of the crossbow is the terrible scope that it has the next rifle that they talked about is the odin 4 to 12 times power and i'm pretty excited about this scope actually because it's a better intermediate you know it, it, it's, it's better zoom than the hyperion but it's not quite as exaggerated as the um, argus and unlike the argus the odin appears to have a pretty open sight picture so that could actually be pretty worth it in my opinion i'm very excited to get my hands on this just to get it you know tested out and see where we're going with it uh but really there's nothing much else to say about it except well we've got another scope to talk about and that is of course the new handgun slash shotgun scope which like these are customizable and uh it's gonna be pretty nice for handguns because the optics uh 
currently for shotguns and pistols aren't the best and the handgun scope isn't isn't the greatest it's usable but now that we can get customizable uh crosshairs on there i'm looking forward to it because i like to use the handgun a lot and just to keep this video short sweet and to the point i think we're going to go ahead and end it there i'm pretty excited about this like i said it drops next week in accordance to the time of this releasing and uh let me know what you guys think in the comments below like i said we've needed this update for a long time for years and we're finally getting it and uh well things can only get even better from here